My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. As both of your swings here are fairly similar in terms of where you put the club. And that's a good thing. That means that when you practice, you'll be able to do this and get something out of it. And those two are very, very much identical, and so that's perfect. Now, if we could make that driver swing go a little further back, maybe right to here, that would be about it for it for the driver. So, you know, I'll give you a couple of swings. This guy, Danny Lee's making quite a big splash. Look at that. There's, that's short of horizontal, right? He's pretty good, yeah. I mean, he's got a huge shoulder turn. So I'm not saying don't wind it up. I'm just saying wind it up and push it out. That's the, yeah, you can miss the fork, though. Yeah, yeah, and don't be afraid, you know, hey, I'm not going to make a turn. You're going to wind it up as much as you want. You're just pushing your hands out here. Yeah. You're not just going to let the club, no. My thought process here is when I'm swinging, I like to feel like my arms are pinned and they're up against my chest, but I'm pushing my hands out. Yeah. And the reason is real simple. When I turn back, I don't always want my hands in the center of my chest. I don't want my arms to get behind me. Yeah. That's, That's what you're doing. It goes. Yeah. Right. And so what I'm saying is recorded. So one of your drills is to take a medicine ball and just practice turning. And I have one over here. I'm going to say it. Show you how to do 